I took uh, really close scrutiny of, of what happened after the publication of the Iraq war logs. And I don't remember any name or any concrete case of anybody that was exposed or endangered or killed or maimed because of, of the exposure of the cables. Really, I've read, mo not most of them because there were so many, but I've, I've, I've read a lot of them. It was very technical. I don't see, I mean, there were no names of translators. Translators are really the ones who are in danger. And I can give you a list of translators that we have uh, <laughs> forgotten and, 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 and not uh, taken care of and are in Afghanistan or in Iraq now and are known by the insurgency and, and they are in danger. I have, um, I may be wrong, but so far no name has been given of any victim due to the publication of, of the of the war logs. Kyle Orton, the, ch the charge being there that uh, mm -hmm. from several of the panelists that... Uh, the dangers uh, or the recklessness, as, as some call it, uh, of the way these documents were dumped has been overblown. Yeah, I think that's very silly. I can give you one name, which is Argo Rashin. He was an Ethiopian journalist who had actually been working with the U.S. to try to avoid a crackdown by that autocratic government on the press. And he had to flee his country when his name was revealed in the documents saying he'd had contact with the U.S. embassy. Uh, Morgan Svangarai, the leader of the Zimbabwean opposition, was investigated for treachery after these leaks because he'd been in contact with the U.S. as well. Two generals in Zimbabwe were court-martialed because they'd had contact with the U.S. diplomats and they'd criticized senior officials in the government. Uh, China had a wide-ranging crackdown against academics. I don't have their names to hand, but there were a great number of them. And they widened it to include basically all oppositionists, especially Tibetans and the Muslim Uyghurs. I mean, these things went on. As Syrian human rights activists were the same. This was a, an extremely dangerous thing to do and extremely irresponsible. And it, it just, that should be admitted up front. You can say the, it did all these other good things if you like, but it was an act of recklessness by somebody who didn't know what he was doing, was not acting in the best interests as the panelists would like him to have been. It, it was for own personal selfish reasons. And a lot of other people paid the price for it.